What happened at the FBI and what can you do about it as an elected official on the Judiciary Committee? And Maria, we have seen the FBI become politicized, a certain group, a certain cabal in the FBI. We have wonderful men and women who are working in that agency. We have wonderful individuals that have retired out. We have heard from some of the whistleblowers and the continued oversight, the work that Senator Grassley is continuing to do is going to be very very important to make certain that the FBI is returned. The leadership of the FBI is returned to being a non-political agency. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard O'Jetta here. And sometimes the Republican Party is absolutely hysterical, both in that they make no sense at all and that they look ridiculously funny doing it. But regardless, they're genuinely off the rocker. And as much as I can laugh at them, this kind of rhetoric they spout is downright horrifying. They're actively propagating narratives that simply don't exist in real life. People really fear this having two tiers of justice, two separate systems, rules for thee but not for me, that approach. And it is unnerving to Tennesseans and we hear about this every single day. I mean, after Mar-a-Lago started, we all seen how the GOP have been talking about the feds. They love talking up law enforcement until law enforcement is not working in their favor. But this is pure conspiracy at this point. People want justice to be blind, to be equal, to be fair, and they're frustrated with what they see happening from the DOJ and the FBI. Yeah, I mean, they're frustrated because they think that the bad guys are getting away with it. We all know what happened with the Russia collusion right. lie, and yet there has been very little accountability. They're saying the FBI has some political agenda, like there's a secret cabal heading the agency, like the FBI is a government militia aimed straight at innocent civilians, and that couldn't be further from the truth. These people are just attempting to enforce the law and order that Trump broke, which is how things work in this country. Besides, the FBI director was a Trump appointee. You think he's trying to take down the same guy? guy who put him in power? This is a necessary investigation. The only extenuating circumstance here is the fact that the Trump is a former president, which gives him even more protection against unwarranted investigations. You can only go after a guy like Trump if you have solid gold justification. I mean, it has to be absolutely impenetrable. Not a single hole in the argument against Trump. There's no political agenda here if there's real evidence for his crimes. But then again, the right-wing pundits really enjoy taking digs at our country's institutions. They believe that the FBI is part of an American deep state which only their savior Donald Trump can uncover. What a load of They're stirring dissent towards our main federal law enforcement so that they can get their radicalized base to commit violence for them. And it's not just the FBI. You've heard about the right-wing conspiracies against the Inflation Reduction Act. They're insisting that the whole bill was a ploy to make the IRS a militarized institution that can go after honest, working-class people and small business owners, as in hunting them down with guns. And all I can say to that is, really? You mean the IRS, the severely underfunded and overwhelmed bureaucratic administration that can barely tackle large corporate tax fraud because they don't have the money or staff? The IRS is stuck chasing small fish because they literally don't have the resources to take on wealthy people's lawyers. And it's beyond bizarre. That's insane. But when you think about it in context with how the right wing has been talking about the FBI, you realize that is a coordinated media attack on our country's institutions. They are deliberately misrepresenting them to their base so that these people will only continue to distrust and go the, or the government more and more. And while it's healthy to be a little skeptical here and there, these lies are completely divorced from reality, and that's dangerous. If we let them continue doing this, I have no doubt that this situation could continue to escalate. We have to work towards deplatforming these liars and voting them out of government altogether. We can't let this anti-American party gain power, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.